BAM TV production. Hello everybody, it's Brian Pinsky from bestattractionmarketingtips.info and today I'm shooting you this video to show you how to customize Facebook Pages new photo strip. Uh, here I am on, uh, this is my new, I just published this, I just made this up. Uh, my other fan page is already done, so I just wanted to show you a comparison. This is a new fan page, and this is the new photo strip uh, feature that they have. It's comparable to on your own personal profile, uh, the photos when you're on your own info page or when other people come onto your page, they see your information and they see the photo strip you have at the top. Now, you know, everybody's done all the videos and there's all the different banner applications. You know, you can make this real quick, you can do it on your own. Uh, everybody's come up with the unique ones where they have the profile picture and it looks like it's all one, one photo. The thing with this photo strip here on your profile is all of these pictures, individual five pictures, never change position. Uh, you tag yourself in a certain order for five photos and those will always appear there like that. All nice one looking neat banner. Um, you know, one thing you can do, like I did here with the Stop Losing Money, Conquer the Internet, if you click on any of these, they all, and you scroll down in the caption, you can add stuff, and I have it where it takes you to a clickable link. So you can use it as a, as a form of advertising. Uh, like I say, each one of those takes you to the, all to the same site. But with the actual new pages, these five photos, you can't do the same banner. You can do, you can make that, but every time you reload this page, here I'll show you, see how the order is, I got the dolphin here on the left, me, every time you reload the page, these come up in a new random order. So you can see, I'll do it again, you know, the dolphin's over here now. So every time someone lands on your page, these are all going to be jumbled up in a different order. Now if you had the ban in there like this, it wouldn't make any sense if this one is all the way at the end. It's going to be uh, out of order and it's going to look funny. So there is a way to go around this. I found uh, Nathan Latka, who has the fan page factory, uh, came up with a way to make these appear. I'll show you here. This is my other fan page. To make them appear like this. Nice, neat, individual thumbnails. Uh, you have actually some white space in between the photos and each of these can work as its own form of advertising. Uh, you click on this, it brings up the full size picture, some more information, and then in the description you can even have more information and then again have your uh, clickable link down here. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is how to get your fan page from looking photos looking like this to looking like this. One of the first things you will need to customize Facebook Pages photo strip is this template. This gives you a basis to begin with and create the image uh, including the thumbnails that appear on your page. You'll see the uh, overall image size is 720 by 720 and then the actual thumbnail that appears on the Facebook page itself is 534 pixels wide by 374 pixels high. Uh, now when you look at my uh, images that I showed you earlier in the video, I don't actually make the thumbnail image the full width. Uh, you know, I make this background white, I also make the background of the full size image white. Uh, but I make the background white and then I make the thumbnail go from, you know, a little bit in uh, and you know, end it a little bit. Uh, the reason I do that is so that on the Facebook fan page when you see the thumbnails, you have separation between each picture and you have a white space there. Uh, you'll see that more when I actually make the photo. If you are viewing this video on my blog page, just scroll up and uh, you'll see a thumbnail a picture. Click on that and then you can save the template. And if you are viewing this video elsewhere, just go to the link at the bottom or end of the video. I'll take it to my blog post about this, and if you scroll down, you'll see this image there. Again, uh, click on it and then save the full-size image. Uh, make sure you're saving it at a full 720 by 720 pixels. 
Now that you have the template saved to create the photo image, go into your photo image editing uh, software. I use Photoshop. And once you're in there, you want to click on File and Open, and then you find your photo and open it. Okay, a uh, second thing I want to go and do is open the image that I'm going to be pasting onto the thumbnail itself. I had already gone and done this, so I'm just going to uh, cheat a little bit here and pull it in. Okay, I brought the image in. Uh, this is the image that I want to be the thumbnail. And then the rest of the image, uh, you'll see, we make after over on the, uh, the main part. So that, this image here, basically takes up this whole space. So you want this image to be the same size as that would be. So it's 534 pixels wide by 374 pixels high. So you can make a blank image and then bring in whatever picture you want to go on here. Again, I don't make the picture the full width of the thumbnail image uh, because I want to have some white space on either side of that image. So I have this here. Uh, I did a stretch the photo up to the top. I went, you can do custom whatever you want to do. Uh, I made the corners rounded, add a little bit of a shadow, you can have square, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to get into that aspect of it. Uh, it's just showing you how to put the photos together and put them onto your, your Facebook page. So you have that image. You can go <coughs> flatten the image. So now you see I have the white space on the outside. So I'm going to do a control A, select the whole image. I'll copy it and I'll go back over here and I'm going to paste it. So now you can see it ends up centering it right away. So now all I want to do is move that up and get it so that it covers the underlying image play around with it, zoom in, and there you go. Now you see you'll have an even space, <coughs> excuse me, all the way around the image. Uh, that's so that the thumbnail will appear where you need it to, to where you need it to on the Facebook fan page. Now to cover the rest of this and make it white, I'm just going to do a quick thing. I'm going to basically open a new, new document. I'm going to make it 7, the full width of the picture, 720, by the full height, 720. And I'm going to do white background. Now I'll open that there. Now, Control A, Control Copy. Go back over to our image, we're working, and paste that in. And just switch the layers. So there, now you have from our template, you have the, if I click on this, you can see that's the full 534 by 374. Uh, I left the white so I have space on the Facebook page uh, where the images and the thumbnails appear so there'll be nice spacing between each thumbnail and but the rest of it all blends together. And then now we add into our uh, text or advertising, whatever you want to do, you know, put a title here above the top of the picture or uh, edit some text down here below the picture. And your final product ends up looking like this. There you go. Like I said, uh, these things, you know, you put a text box in, uh, add whatever kind of title you want, put some more information here. Uh, you can even put another. The main thing you have to remember is nothing in this image will be uh, clickable. That's where below the picture on Facebook, you add in the caption, you add some more description, and you add a clickable link. So, you know, if you want here, you could put a website address. If you're talking about sending people right to your website, um, you know, customize this whatever way you feel you want to. Um, this is the way I did mine. This is about Tribe Pro that I belong to. And just, just kind of trying to say, uh, getting piquing people's interest, saying you want to organically grow your blog fast, get in a tribe. You can read a little bit more, and then you know, even here, you can probably go so far as saying click the link below 
the image in the description, something along those lines. Um, you know, I'm still playing around with mine, but that's basically how you make the image and put it together in your photo editing software. Now that you have your image made, you're ready to upload it to Facebook. So go to your fan page, uh, and click over on the left and go to your photos, and click on Upload More Photos. And we'll select the photo. And remember where it is. <laughs> That's the key thing, remember where you put your photo. So now I have your full photo, the template, you know, made from the template. That includes the thumbnail, that, like I said, the whole kit and caboodle. Click on upload, click on high resolution. And then uh, name of the album, I, best thing I did was uh, called Photo Strip Pictures. And create the album. And then you'll just upload the other four into here. Again, the photos, the five thumbnails that show up there are the five most recent photos that you've uploaded. So anytime you upload a new photo, you may have to go in and I'll show you how you do it. You uh, will have to hide that photo unless it's another one of these that you want to appear. So, you know, as soon as you have all five of these set up, if you go and upload a photo that doesn't relate to these and you don't want it to appear on your thing, you'll have to uh, hide it. Uh, but that's easy to see and I'll show you. So again, now here you uploaded your photo into a new album. I said called the photo strip pictures. Uh, this is the important part. You want to add in the caption. I already have copied and pasted something. But um, add maybe you know, a little bit more of a description. Uh, but you definitely want to go down at the bottom. You want to have a call to action, which is basically, you know, click on this, click on this link. Uh, you want to have a link that uh, takes people to whatever you're promoting here through your photo. Uh, so you get that all done, click Save Changes, and you're good to go. And if we go back and view the page, now instead of five pictures here, you see the new custom-made image uh, that, through the template, and when I click on that, it opens the in the photo viewer, and you see the rest of your ad. Your uh, title, headline, a little bit more description, whatever you may have here, and then again, go down into this, and if they click on the link, it boom goes and takes them to whatever page you want to take them to. So, again, uh, that was let me close this out. That's how you basically upload them, and uh, you do that just four more times, and you will end up with the five photos like this. And put you know. Use your imagination. Put whatever you want here. Take them to your blog. Take them to your website. Take them to something you know, an ebook you're selling. Wh whatever it may be. Um, you know, if you're a, a regular brick and mortar business, you could use this to take them to you know a menu, to various things. There's a little, possibilities are endless as what you can do when you customize your Facebook pages, photo strip. And I told you before, you know, once you have your five photos uploaded that you want. Anytime you add a new photo, uh, it will replace one of these. Uh, it's random because these always appear in a random order. Uh, I'm going to show you on here. So if you needed to, you know, you upload, you'd add all five, and say you uploaded four new pictures of yourself. Uh, on this one, I only have this one photo like here, but so uh, when I hide these, more of these won't appear back. But if you did, if I did that over here uh, on this page, if I had. Uh, uploaded a photo and I didn't want to, I clicked it, then these would appear back because they were the five recent ones before whatever uh, photo I added last. But again, just go onto the photo and there's a little X in the upper right and if you hover over it, it will say hide this photo. Just click that. And are you sure you want to hide this photo? Da -da -da, hide photo. Uh, and then it just brings up a, uh, you know another one. Here, like I said, I don't have all five of these uploaded on this page. Um, so I just brought in one of my other photos that was uh, uploaded pre uh, prior to me uh, doing that. Uh, but if you had all five of these, the same as this, and you added a new photo, just click hide and it will bring back all five of your customized photos.
that's it. If you have any more questions, you can always get in touch with me uh, on this website or if you're watching this video and not on my blog, click the link below, go to my blog, all the different ways to get in touch with me. I'm more than willing to help you. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Again, this is Brian Pinsky from bestattractionmarketingtips.info. Everybody have the greatest day of your life. Hey, BAM TV.